Indian woman escapes human sacrifice plot. A 23-year-old woman recently filed a writ petition in the Madras High Court alleging that her stepmother was planning to kill her as part of a human sacrifice ritual. The petitioner allegedly accused, she didn't allegedly, she did accuse, she accused her stepmother and other relatives of being followers of black magic after coincidentally learning about their intention to kill her to perform a human sacrifice ritual. She also learned that her younger of her younger brother's demise, who allegedly underwent the same ritual when he was only 10. Knowing that her family had strong political question, connections in her state of Madhya Pradesh, the petitioner lamented that the authorities there would probably fail to grant her legal protection. Fortunately, with the assistance of a fellow student, she boarded a train at 3 a.m. on February 16th and reached Chennai the following day. So she went from North India to South India. Quote, I state that my life is not safe. I cannot return to my native place or anywhere in North India where there is no security for my life, her affidavit read. After learning about her circumstances, the sitting judge condemned the fact that even in the 21st century, hum heinous acts such as human sacrifice are still prevalent in India. Uh, the state public prosecutor assured the woman that the police would provide the necessary legal protection to the petitioner. Okay, why are they, why, why were they trying to, I, maybe I missed that part, why are they trying to sacrifice her? So she alleges in the documents that she submitted before the court that her family practices black magic and wanted to kill her as part of a human sacrifice ritual and that apparently her 10 year old brother was killed many years ago for the sake of the same kind of ritual yeah why did nobody like he is asking why did nobody look into the brother such like they just sacrifice the brother and they're like free and running around and nothing happens to them i don't know i don't know how they covered this up there, there wasn't a lot of details into the, the backstory of the why are they, why are they sacri why does why does India have so many cases of sacrifice I like it's like it seems like um the we the honor we have honor killing with a lot of Muslim societies and we have human sacrifice with a lot of in India it's kind of it's, sacri human sacrifices are Indians honor killing well no they also have regular honor killing. Oh, okay, they have both. Um, so, but, but, um, we should be clear that doesn't happen nearly as much as your standard quote unquote. That's a bad word to use for this, but your typical honor killing. This happens much more rarely. But because of the population of the country is so massive, it does happen yeah. more frequently here than anywhere else. That's for sure. But then we I also. Mean, does have it happen anywhere else? Oh, yeah, you can hear about some crazy cases of this happening, freaking even in America, except that's very, very rare, you know. Yeah. Um, but even but adjusted by population, India has more humans, even adjusted by population, India has more human sacrifices than other places, simply because I mean, other religions. Go ahead. What? No, because like we don't have human sacrifices in Abrahamic religions. That's the whole point of the story of Abraham. Right, like it's yeah. like oh, the whole the whole point, like not the whole point. The whole point is like to to sell Submit. us divine command divine command theory. But part of the idea was like oh, you said go sacrifice your son for Allah for God. I, I have my Islamic mindset, on. Um, and and it was like okay, maybe not. Maybe like let's just end human sacrifice. Actually, Christianity has that as well, right? So, you know one human sacrifice to end all sacrifices so they don't even have animal sacrifices in christianity anymore right mm -hmm. and in islam and judaism you had abraham wanting to do a human sacrifice and also christianity and they're like okay no we do the lamb instead so abrahamic abrahamic religions don't have human sacrifice but hinduism and hindu adjacent um ideologies had human sacrifice so that's so why my understanding more is that a lot of this particular manifestation of the practice comes from tantric practices tantra yeah. so that's why hindu adjacent that's why i said hindu adjacent
Yeah, because people think that Tantra is just like having very steamy, like mystical sex. It's actually It is also that. It it can be that, but it is also a lot of this. It is steamy amazing sex and human sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> It's very Freudian in a way. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The also, Kelly is involved a lot with this. tantric human sacrifice. Was this for Kelly? I don't know. But we did cover it where have... there was a human sacrifice thing that almost happened. Because Multiple. Uh, yeah. We, like when it comes to go Hindu gods that are involved in human sacrifice, a lot of them are Kali related. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me this is not Hinduism related because we're talking about the Hindu goddess, which is Kali. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's very interesting. I know that black magic, there's a stereotype that Bengalis are associated with black magic in particular. Like mm -hmm. to the point that like it, it can be used to be racist against Bengalis because they think that you're going to do black magic on them, which is interesting because Kali is actually originally a Bengali goddess. Yeah, but it, then it was it was merged into Hinduism. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Just like just like Greek gods were like merged from different religions, local religions into one, and then Egyptians as well. So Kali was a Bengali god, a goddess, and then it got merged to the other with the other you know Indian uh, gods as well. Mm -hmm. um, somebody saying wasn't Jesus a human sacrifice? Yeah, it was a it was a human sacrifice. Yeah, it was a human sacrifice to end all sacrifices. Yeah. So Christianity, not only it doesn't have human sacrifice, Christianity doesn't even have animal sacrifice. It's like well, Judaism has... Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, but we don't... Like in Christianity, don't kill animals. Judaism and Islam have animal sacrifice. Christianity has no sacrifice. No sacrifice. Um, because Jesus did it all. I, I, I covered it. I covered it, guys. I covered it all. So no, no more. Need. Um, which doesn't even count because he came back. Usually, when I kill a lamb, it doesn't come back. Um, secular Sakai is saying, can theistic uh, Satanism be considered Abrahamic? It was as anti-Abrahamic. So I think, like you, because Satanism has human sacrifice, right? But I don't think you could put that under Abrahamic because it's the opposite of Abra I don't know. Maybe it is. It's no, but it's cool. still within the Abrahamic yeah. like okay. metaverse, so to speak. Metaverse. Yes, <laughs> metaverse. Or yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, I guess I guess Abrahamic religions do have human sacrifice because Satanism is one of them. You're right. That's a good point. A and good point. to be yeah. fair, D is also pointing out that Catholics do technically eat Jesus every Sunday. This is true. Yeah, but they don't like, they don't take, okay, so part of the ritual is that you eat his body, you eat his blood, but they don't bring like a Jesus figure and like act like there's like cutting his head and then eating it. So the sacrifice part is already over. Imagine if they did that. Imagine if like, no, like you had to crucify an actual Jesus and actually had to drain its blood and eat. They have to make Jesus's out of bread, soaked in blood, soaked in wine. That would be amazing. Imagine if you had yeah, a Jesus, but it was made out of bread on a cross. And you would it was bleeding and, and wine was coming from his hand and his feet. So you would just yeah, you had a bread and wine Jesus like a, a, somebody has to do that. I think that would that would be amazing. Yes. Oh my god. A, a Meanwhile, Jesus I'm sitting up here thinking about like if that actually was Catholic practice. I'm thinking about like <laughs> the industries that would spring up around crafting bread Jesus's efforts. <laughs> like, oh, this could be a little like, economy. Like Aristoteles. Is that Aristotle's? Aristotle. Well, no, that's not how you write Aristotle's. There's too many. I know, but I'm dyslexic, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Um I'm just going to say Aristotle as well. Aristotle is saying, Armin, you're being disturbing. I'm not being disturbing. It's Christianity that is disturbing. Okay? That's not my fault. It's the religion. They drink blood and eat their God's body. Okay? It's disturbing. It comes disturbing. I'm just describing how it is. Sorry, you don't like it. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.